Welcome to Runway Academy. Today we're using the multi-motion brush to create lifelike movement across varying depth layers or distances in an image. First, let's understand how we determine what would be realistic movement. Picture your image as a series of slices, each representing a different depth or distance. Objects closer to us are the front slices, while subjects that are farther away are in the back slices. And closer objects will appear to move faster than those further away. This concept is called motion parallax, and we'll harness this concept when applying the motion brush to create realistic movement. So let's head into Gen 2. First, let's begin with the closest layer. In our example here, it's the area featuring the tree shadow. And given its proximity, we'll intensify the movement, setting the ambient motion to five. Moving on to the layer just behind it, we'll use brush two. And this layer encompasses the large tree, the adjacent plants, and the roadside bushes on the other side, extending up to just about where the car is. We'll moderate the movement here and adjust the ambient motion to three. Next, we'll select brush three for our next focal layer, which includes our main subject, the car. And here, we'll balance ambient motion at two with a proximity setting of negative 2.5, simulating the car's travel away from us. For the area slightly beyond the car, we'll use brush four and brush over these trees and bushes slightly past the car, kind of in this focal layer or vicinity. Continuing our motion gradient, we'll set the ambient motion to one. Finally, brush five defines the farthest layer, the distant trees. We'll brush over the trees and dial the ambient motion down to say 0.5, reflecting the speed at which it appears to be moving in its remoteness or its distance. So with all settings adjusted, we're ready to save and generate. The result, a naturally flowing scene mirroring real life motion parallax. So let's quickly recap this process. First, we envision an image as layers, each reflecting varying distances. Then we apply different motion brushes to each of these visualized layers. And then lastly, we apply different motion values to each layer, keeping in mind that objects closer to us are given more motions and with the intensity of motion decreasing for farther layers. This multi-motion brush technique, especially combined with camera movements, can add a real cinematic dimension to your work. And we encourage you to experiment with these principles in your creations. Thank you for watching, and for more resources, join our community on Discord or use this button in your dashboard to get answers to any questions you have about Runway.